What's up everybody, 915 Mang here, hanging out with Alan at the Coral Reef. The Coral Reef is actually a LFS uh, here in the 915 El Paso, Texas. And uh, I thought this cube was pretty sweet, so I did a separate video mostly on this cube and uh, a couple of other tanks. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll be doing a contest pretty soon in uh, February. And then it'll be all the way till fit the whole month of February. I'll give you the details on that as we get closer to February, uh, which is not too far away. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, look out for that. Make sure you'd like and subscribe. Here's a, a video of the 45 gallon cube here at the LFS. If you have a chance, stop by and check it out. Sweet, man. No, Looks cool, huh? Yeah. Turn out to be really cool. So, so what's up with, with this tank? How, what, what's the deal with it? Um, cause it, it's a, it's a pretty sweet tank. It's like a little nano. Yeah, well, it's just the idea was we were gonna do all Monte Carlos, and then one of my brothers just put in a polyp, and they kind of just grew out really nice. Cause I see you got some rock nams. Yeah. All kinds of nice. And we put up polyps and then it just kind of started blooming out and then we were like, eh, well, I guess we'll just change it to, to be a little, you know what I mean? Like, we started with this one and then we started adding more and more and more and then it just kind of just... This is a show tank. And then we started, and then that's the one you gave us. We got a little... A little tiny one? Ross as well. Yeah, I'll go up. I have a whole bunch. I have a whole bunch of crap in my tank now. And then like most most of these are started off like this. Like I some of the time people bring in like stuff that's beat up and I just kinda of try to give them like a little little chance to kinda of grow out. You know what I mean? And then if they want to take them back home, they can take them back. I'd rather save the coral and just let it kind of die out. Yeah. Walk. That's a sweet tank for sure. Down. I think that's that's why I like the cube so much. The top down. Simple right here. What are these yellow um, polys called? Um, I'm not too sure. Those are badass. I'm not too sure. We got a couple frags of them I'm have to look from at our those. wholesaler. Uh -huh. And we just, we couldn't even name them. I don't know. Maybe they're like a variation of the Darth Mauls, but they're, yeah. they're probably called something else. Do a video just on this tank. <laughs> I'm excited to see it grow. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these, a lot of these, like God, they were, they were doing so good. Just brought them in here and start coming out now. There's some little, the flower anemones pretty much had, they, they had little flower anemones. The um, the flower pot anemones, it's cool because um, you can't frag those, but they'll spawn with each other. Yeah, and, and they, and then they make like, Different, different color variations. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's like breeding, and we actually some of these rock anemones actually already spawned. Really? Yeah. You can probably find the small ones in here. Probably see them on this little. Like, did we do a top down from here? Uh huh. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven more little flower anemones. 
That's sweet, man. Right down through there. Right next to the blue mushroom. Oh, okay. See him? It's like a little tiny head. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. That's, that's great. Check out that little barnacle thing. Oh, man. Like this little tank has these little treasures inside. Like you need to really, really be looking at, know what you're looking at, looking for. Yeah, I would and then definitely this. recommend people come to the coral reef. And then this one right there, that's uh, a lot of people have been asking to get those. Those uh -huh. are those umpa gumpas. Yeah, I I know. Yeah. Which me first, people. Yeah. <laughs> We're still growing them out. We were, I think there were so many four of them, so we should start picking them pretty soon. So every single coral you see, like even this one right here with a little single head, the one over here we started a little tiny sliver. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just like giving all the corals a chance to kind of survive. This is an awesome tank, man. Yeah, from the last time I came here, I, I really liked this tank, but it's starting to fill out more. That's cool that your rock nams are spawning. Sweet. Is a full tank shot? How, how many gallons is this? Uh, um, full system of sunk is 60. But on the top is the other thing available. Uh, one of them carry the celestial. Yeah, I used to have a 45 or 40 or something like that. But uh, sprung a leak and I broke it down. It's I actually have a customer this week. He called me the next time because it blew up. How, how, how big? It's 40 gallons. Uh, but it says like from the seams it's kind of just right. This is awesome. I just I love this tank. Single drain? Look at that ass tank. That is badass right there. I'm gonna have to come back and get a frag. Check this guy. I really like this tank. The cool, cool little goby fish right there is pretty awesome. It's tiny, it's blue. You have to look really hard to see it, but um, the top downs on this tank are awesome. Alan allowed me to turn off all the flow in this tank and uh, that includes a return pump, simple power head, and uh, the top down are awesome. You can see all the corals looking great. Um, nothing fancy about this tank at all, and uh, it's really, really nice. I think it would be more interesting if he adds even more rock flower nems, uh, which are awesome because of the different colors. Once they start spawning and stuff, I'm um, just going to have a ton of rock flower nems with different colors variations and that's the real way to do it right there um the reason why is because you cannot frag rock flower nems okay uh they can only spawn and i read it somewhere in a, in a one of the reef magazine reef hobbyist magazines i forgot which one because it was a couple of years ago but so uh, you can't frag them so the only way for them to reproduce is spawning which is pretty cool because it doesn't cost you anything just add a couple of different rock flower nems and you're good to go i really liked having a 45 gallon cube back in the day um the top downs were awesome i had a little frag tank attached to it and it was just a cool little tank um but being a reefer i always change things up and um the fact that it leaked uh just made me break it down you know it's a cool little setup though i'll, I'll add a link to you for you in this video but um hope you're enjoying this eye candy quiz this, this is a cool little tank now this being part two of the video 
from the LFS that I did last week, um, I added a bunch of peppermint shrimp. I added about four or five peppermint shrimp. Um, the reason why is so that they could eat some Aptasia. I really haven't been noticing them doing anything. Uh, and I don't stand in my tank too much at night. Probably when they're most active is at night. Um, I do think I might need to go to the LFS and pick up some more peppermint shrimps and uh, see how they're doing. Um, maybe add one more to the 20 or and then just add a whole bunch more to the 180. I had a subscriber tell me about a laser. I've seen the laser, but those lasers just cost too much money. And uh, I was thinking about one of those Mohana ones. Uh, they electrocute the the little pest but uh, we'll see probably not going to get that the cheapest thing for me to do is get some more shrimp so I'm gonna probably do that here in the near near future another option for me to do is swing by and pick up a file fish the file fish is ugly as hell but um, the good thing is that they move seem to move pretty slow when they float around in the tanks um, I saw that they have one for sale so I might swing by pick one up and see how it does uh, once it's done with its mission maybe catch it and uh, see if I could return it to the store or sell it here locally or just keep it but as you can see they have a nice selection of corals I was here just filming looking around at everything uh, I had some pretty nice uh, fish in here as well and a lot of nice LPS Everything's just nice and puffy. These lights are those Euro Aquatic um, LED, like the T5s, um, which are pretty cool. And they do sell them here. I'm still running the ATI Blue Plus and Coral Plus on my tanks. But you can see these corals are looking pretty happy. But I did a good job just walking away with some peppermint shrimp and uh, one frag of Zoas. Especially coming down to the LFS, have so many corals and candies that I want to add to my tank and it's easy to get carried away so pretty happy with that um, and also it gives me a reason to swing by the LFS and see what else they got you know later on during the week or a couple of weeks from from today but I'd like to know what you guys picked up if you guys picked up any corals during the weekend um, if you were able to go out what are your guys' plans on your tanks um, any tank upgrades out there, light upgrades, flow upgrades, especially because it's coming into income tax time. Uh, a lot of you guys probably filed. I haven't filed yet, but when I do, I'm going to go ahead and portion, allocate some of that money for some coral. I'm always looking online, and I'm also thinking about changing up my 180 by changing up the rockscape. Uh, I had some overgrown pallies on my tank may go ahead and cut some of those off. I have some locals that want it. They can, they're more than look, welcome to it. But I gotta buy some rock first. Um, I was looking at that Stax rock, but then again, I might buy some just dry rock, cut it up to slices or cut it up the way that I want it so I can have a different aquascape because I'm kind of getting bored of my aquascape in my tank. <laughs> I've been looking for that, um, those booby and mommy eye chalices and stuff like that, but I really don't want to pay like. Uh, how much? How much have you been seeing? Like a hundred. And then they're like all colony or frags. Um, I think they're just frags. So I can get you a colony for the same price. A colony? <laughs> I had a good time hanging out here at the store, looking at all the goodies, the candies, and uh, it was a good time. Make sure you stop by if you're in the area. Thanks for watching. You guys like and subscribe. You guys enjoy that football.